So we've been talking about augmented reality and some stuff coming up from Meta, hopefully, maybe. And today we're going to have a chat about some of the real world use cases of this uh, bleeding edge technology. Mike's going to give us an update or a not so critical update in today's not so critical update. An absolutely critical update, as promised yesterday, to extend the meta. I didn't know if we're supposed to call them meta or Facebook. I still think of them as Facebook, whatever, the AR glasses. So the question that we left off yesterday with, guaranteed yesterday, because I'm absolutely uploading these in the correct order today, this week, is Peter's question was like, what are the real world use cases of augmented reality wearables and one that i am very familiar with personally is sports glasses we see these for cycling for running uh there are swim goggles that have heads up displays that'll show you your stroke count your swim speed um you can load it with a training program it'll tell you what to do so th these are i wouldn't say like popular but i'm definitely aware of them from like triathlon training um so in this story this guy did a test and said, well, they're pretty cool. They give you heads up information about speed, distance, all that stuff. <clears throat> but the downsides are if you, they're not sitting on your face exactly right, they get blurry. And if, uh, if a shadow rushes across your face, it'll trick them into thinking you did a hand motion and change the view. Um, and they're not super fashionable, which who cares? So this, this is, um, <clears throat> we also talked about how Apple might be meta to the punch and do this ahead of game ahead of them because they've got two years which you know is uh 700 developer lives lost um <clears throat> in that that time like i think that's the kind of thing that apple's great at is rounding off all those rough edges those kind of like <clears throat> first of all the first version for sure is going to have all these like you know problems and things um, but then not if Apple does they'll it. fix it. Not if Apple does it, and it will still it will still be a little bit bumpy. Um, but but yeah, it's gonna it could be could be super slick. Um, and then the next version is gonna be better if they if they manage to keep it going. If it was Google, they would release it. It'd be awful, and then they kill it. Um, <laughs> it's not trying again. Yeah, JK, was, LOL. Like, yeah, yeah, you're right. Sorry, <laughs> another one in the Google graveyard. Um, but. But if it was Apple or maybe Facebook, if they're taking a new tack, um, or if they actually survive that long, we'll see. I don't know. Um, but okay, the Quest is a good example, actually, because yep. the, the, I use the app, the Oculus Quest 2. And the, one of the first things that people um, joke about when I tell them about how much how amazing it is, is, oh, I've seen all these videos of people bumping into things and you know falling over their beds and injuring themselves and stuff. And it does happen, but sensibly what they did was they made it so that you the first thing you do when you put it on is you create a guardian area and you draw out a space around you and if you step outside that space there's a little front mounted camera and if you step outside the space then it switches to the view that comes from the camera it's black and white blurry it's very very low quality but it means that you know that you are outside of your safe safe area so it's a simple solution that works really well and you don't have that many accidents. The worst one is actually that I've had is is smacking the light oh, above yeah. me because it, you know. <clears throat> but um, it's it's those kind of simple solutions are going to be possible. You know, shadows in front of your face. I don't know. They'll mm -hmm. find some tech to to figure it out. So yeah, I'm I'm not put off by those those complaints at all. Yeah, and I, so like, what what are the good use cases? I mentioned uh, Pokemon Go. Obviously, would be the first <laughs> thing I would do. That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah. Wordle, Wordle, I Wordle, think. Wordle, sure. Well, I don't know. How, yeah. Maybe. Um, Words with friends. In sports, you can get biometric information, performance information. That's useful. I think you would see a lot of the like phone alerts, right? Your SMS alerts, your chat message alerts. You'd get those in your glasses. Yeah. I, uh, I, so I, I have a, a smartwatch and I didn't, I, re I reset it up recently because it wasn't up, wasn't synchronizing properly and i just thought i'll start it again and somehow it now is getting is synchronized with my phone too well and i'm getting when i get a text 
it sends it to my phone, which I didn't want before. I didn't want them yeah. integrated like that. It feels like a violation, but it's kind of useful. And um, uh, annoyingly, I now <laughs> know when I'm being messaged, uh, which I didn't want. But it's going to be a lot of these like incremental changes to incremental quality of life improvements, I think, will be the kind of killer feature. Yeah. Um, you, directions yeah. while you're driving, context yeah. help about places where you are, people that you're talking to. Stuff that we could all do before easily, but it's just slightly easier with a augmented reality. You say that, but I have a GPS on my phone was a life changer. Well, you know, maps existed before that, right? Yeah, but they were nowhere near as convenient. They were much, right. you couldn't consult them in real time. You, What are you going to do? Plan out your route, be, route before you leave? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, what? <laughs> yeah, guy. Write it on a piece of paper. Hope that the map's yeah. not out of date. The dip, GPS dip. on the phone is so yeah, much better. Uh, Plus now yeah, today, right. like early on, it was kind of a hassle. You actually had to like buy a GPS app and download maps. Now oh, you just right. use Waze. It tells you where the police are. It gives you traffic information. It tells you your ETA to the to the destination, taking traffic into account. It's incredible. That's incredibly yeah. valuable. Yeah. Yeah. Did you call also, that an incremental? Way- yeah, it's an incremental change, I guess, but a huge step in the right direction. And if AR glasses can move even further down that road, I am 100% in. That's what I mean, though. This It's not like a, it's not exactly revolutionary. It's just, things are going to be a bit easier you know a bit nicer a bit more handy i feel like you're minimizing (laughs) it by saying it that way but yeah well a little bit nicer is still a lot nicer (laughs) that that does not make sense in any way grammatically but um uh okay i think i know what you mean actually (laughs) yeah okay fair enough i'm super excited about ar the better it gets i'm trying to think I'd, I'd love there to be some kind of real killer killer app to it. Like, holy shit, I didn't realize that we could do this before. And then it will be like, turn everybody's lives upside down. But I can't think what that would be. I, I don't, don't know. know. Um, no. <laughs> I, I got excited there for a second. I genuinely was like, oh, but no, that's not going to work. Um, we need some sort of modification of of reality. Like if we could turn... This is what I was thinking, and I'm, I probably shouldn't say this out loud, but if we could change everybody's uh, skin color to the same mm-hmm. so that we could, it wouldn't quite eradicate racism, but everybody would have to be wearing this. I, the I could make of- you look like <clears throat> someone I wanted to talk to. <laughs> I got kind of stuck there. <laughs> oh my god! If you combined augmented reality with deep fakes, you could have Ooh. everybody as like as as Interesting. yourself. If you could just be talking to the same person, everybody. If I could force oh. my deep fake into your augmented reality, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's well, no, that would like if you hacked my glasses. That, of course, is the next thing that's going to happen. <laughs> is that there's going to be AR glass hacks, isn't it? You are going to be walking around, and it'll be like, oh wow, um, I'm I. Just, I don't know. There'll be dating apps, won't there? I know. There'll I be, know. Oh. there'll be like, okay, who am I? Yeah. So I forgot in yesterday's story, a very exciting piece was uh, for navigation of this thing. Like, how do you interact with it? <clears throat> One of the things that they said they're developing is a wristband that will detect essentially brain signals, right? Electro electrical impulses in the muscles. So that you can control like a mouse and keyboard based on very subtle signals in your wrist through this wristband. And the people wow. who have tried it say it is amazing. I think that sounds wow, also okay. very cool. That sounds cool, but I'm skeptical. But um, Of course you are. Yeah, because, you know, until I see it. It's one of those things which is like kind of in limited, very controlled tests sounds very good, but there's going to be so many issues with it. And I bet you anything like accessibility has gone out the window. You know, any anybody who's remotely disabled is going to be just can't use it. Yeah, that's um, probably, probably different true. for different skin types. Different men and women are going to have problems. Different ages are going to have issues. It's like 
you know, your bog standard 70%, 70% use case mm -hmm. for 70% mm -hmm. of people, it'll be fine. But um, everybody else <laughs> going to be a nightmare. <clears throat> so I want to go back to the dating app for, thing. I think dating apps, that's maybe the killer feature. Dating app? Yeah. Augmented reality dating apps. You can actually literally walk around and people that you match with who are in front of you, uh, you're like, ding, ding, ding. And then they, they just sort of start glowing or something like that. That would be kind of... Because yeah. what people want <clears throat> is strangers leering at them, hoping for a ding. More. Only matches, though. Only only matches. Only people that you match with. Yeah. No, there's nothing creepy about that solution. No. I don't, I don't see it's it going wrong at all. But then it's going to going to get hacked, and I, I could just be walking around just like a, 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 a you know matching with everybody. No, that's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> It's never gonna, they're gonna go. No, hang on. This I've I've clearly been hacked. What the, what's going on? This is I want my money back. <laughs>